Hello everyone. So I wanted to go over design considerations that I had when making the Apollo amp that I did for Rhett Scholl and kind of going over this new one I'm doing here. So I knew I wanted a single 12 AX7 in the preamp section to run a 6SL7 as the phase inverter, then the EL84 type tubes for the power section and then have a rectifier. And I looked high and low for a out of the box chassis that would meet that need. And fortunately it doesn't exist. So I kind of had to look for something that would somewhat meet that need. And what I landed on is this 6G2 if I don't recall correctly, but it's the brown face Princeton chassis that I was able to modify to get it to work. So over here is for the 12AX7, no modifications needed here. This originally had a 12AX7. You have to punch it out in order to fit the octal socket in here. Then I needed to kind of go down, if you will, uh, from the octals that were here for the 6v6s to the nine pins needed for the el84 type tube and the rectifier is the only socket besides the 12x7 that doesn't have to be modified the power transformer in this so i have to slot these in order to fit this transformer it's a little smaller than what was typically used but it's rated to meet the need have to drill holes to add a choke because the original design did not have a uh, had a choke in it. The power transformer hole, or sorry, output transformer hole, have to modify it. Have to drill another hole out because this output transformer was not meant to be for the chassis. Um, then I have to, you know, mount all of these tag boards in here on the front of the amplifier. Have to cover off this hole, add the switch. Uh, all the other holes worked out. Also have to add the power switch because it originally was meant to be on the back. But what I do on the back is I've got a spot for a fuse. Power cord comes in here. And then this is where the original power switch was supposed to be. But this is what I use for swapping between the two rectification and the solid state rectification. And one thing you can kind of see here is nice little braids on the leads here, kind of cleaning things up. Um, the other thing that actually kind of works out is the filter capacitors that I wanted to run for the power section uh, work nice with what's supposed to be in here, so that fits. So that's just some kind of design considerations that I wanted to talk about building this Apollo amplifier, which there's something special that's going to happen with this amplifier uh, before it goes out to its final customer. So stay tuned for that. Hope you'll have a great day.